you have toy? Not everybody has the same things. Uh, no, nope, I don't think you have toy. No! Next one is bird. Uh, I have bird. Uh. Do you have bird? Do you see it? Move your hand so you can look. You have bird? Uh. No, you're supposed to get one from here. Hello my friends, it is bedtime. The boys are about to read a book, so let's see how quickly I can go. But we are on time, it is only 9.15. I am freezing, what is it up here? It's 70, it feels colder. I am wearing a sweater I knitted that is short sleeve for spring and fall, but I wanted to wear it even though it definitely doesn't feel like spring. So it was a normal day, Thursday. We woke up, we had breakfast, we went and did our kindergarten. I didn't have a real big theme, but I did kind of choose spring worksheets and I printed out a craft, which was paper flowers. 
So yeah, fairly straightforward. I got the label updates I needed to do, so I quickly did those. It was only like 15 minutes of work, 30 minutes. Didn't take long. I did it while he was coloring those paper flowers. And then, what did I do? We needed to go out to the library for a class. So we went there a little bit early and it was a good thing because they had a special sign on the door saying limited access today. Normally this is an outdoor, outdoor family story time, but it's just been cold and rainy like every week. <laughs> so again, the grass was soaking wet because it had rain in the morning, so it was indoors, but they had a sign that it was limited and you needed a ticket. So right when the librarian who was running the story time put that sign up she saw us waiting from the little kids computers and she brought over two tickets and did you guys want to come because she knows that the first one he went to two weeks ago she was the teacher of it and he's like I'm gonna come to everyone that I can come to <laughs> so yeah we got our little tickets and we had a few minutes to wait then we went in and I recognized what the special surprise was she had facing the wall. It was a bubble machine, spoiler alert. But she didn't tell the kids. We went through and did all our songs and there were two books and they were both about bath time. So you can see where the theme was. <laughs> there was more people than before, but still probably only about seven parents total. Some of them had two kids and more people not in masks than in masks. And usually it's the other way around. And it was a little weird that the one mom and daughter that usually are the only ones there without a mask, that mom had a mask on today and other people didn't. So it was a little weird, but everybody spaced themselves out and we kept our mask on. The only time they were near each other was for the five minutes of chasing the bubbles at the end. So we did that and then we came straight back home. I hadn't been sure if I was going to eat lunch. I didn't need lunch up until that point because I had a big breakfast, but we got home around two and I was like, I need some food. So I had some eggs that I cooked with the uh, guangjang, oh, I already forgot. <laughs> the Korean hot sauce. I'd have to look at the box again and read it. And guangjang, maybe it was that. And then, I had leftover guacamole from that Mexican dinner, so I spread that on some toast and I made it into a, like an egg sandwich. I made an egg sandwich for Jax and Sebastian just chilled a whole bunch of things like a strawberry crepe and some almonds and a cheese stick and a banana. <laughs> so yeah, we ate and he had already eaten a little bit before, but not enough. But then we came up to quiet time after quiet time, I needed to paint and I'm feeling a lot better with it. I did a minor change covering up some of the dog's back and I feel a lot better about the body shape now. So I just went in and I was working on the chest and adding details to the chest. And I keep tweaking one of the eyes. One of the eyes is covered by hair and it gives us this, an optical illusion of being too small even though I've measured it multiple times. So now I'm at the point where I just need to make it optical illusion of looking the right size. Because <laughs> I want it to look right and not necessarily like the picture. Because in the picture, I look so little smaller. But I'm really happy with how it's coming. I'm feeling more confident. On the days when I'm not, I feel a little stressed when I go to bed. But I've been sending her updates every few days, so probably tomorrow I'll send her today's photos. And I think I just have a few more painting sessions of details, maybe one longer session on the weekend, and then I can move on to my next painting. And I may soon post a flyer. I know our Dunkin' Donuts has a bulletin board. The Starbucks does not anymore. I well, the Starbucks is gone, so I'll have to see if the other one we go to has a bulletin board for that kind of thing. So I might put it out to the local area. I don't know yet, though. And yeah, so I was painting that, then I came up and I made pasta for everybody. Jax wanted 
like spaghetti and meatballs, but I was making a penne with veggies, so I just gave him sauce and meatballs in his penne, so he had that. And we had our veggie pasta, and then I was going to go down and craft, but we have a web client on an ancient website, and we were about to update her website. Sweet old lady runs a religious retreat, but then right when I was sending her a design sample of what we could potentially do, she sold it. She, she was relieved. She, she didn't want to deal with it anymore, so... Then that got put on hold and we just, they just signed the final deal. So we were changing all the accounts over and he's like, I like the site, <laughs> but unfortunately it's so old. It's like kind of broken. So we're trying to get that old phone number off and it took both Danny and I to try to figure it out. Like it's still broken, but we managed to get the phone number off all the spots. So hopefully once he settles in as the new owner, we can go back to fixing that because it's a little annoying that it's not working right, right? But this is like, I don't even know when we made this site, like 12 years ago or something. It, it looks fine, but yeah, the back end is throwing some errors. So that kind of took up most of the time. Yeah, <laughs> I managed to make a few little books, little miniature books and that's it, but that's fine. I mean, it is what it is. And that was my day. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up and get changed because he's gonna be coming back to brush his teeth and stuff. Yeah, and I will see tomorrow for Friday. It's still gonna be yucky, but it looks like it's just gonna be cloudy midday and around mid 50s but windy so if we bundle up we should be able to do a lake walk have some dunkin donuts if nobody's at that indoor table otherwise it'll be a car car picnic and then there's a giant there so we can get our favorite waffles because i used to eat ego brand nutri waffles and they discontinued them over the pandemic and so many people are upset about this like I just thought they were getting harder to find, but no, they just continued them. But Giant has a dupe and hopefully they don't stop making theirs because they're actually a little bit better. So we need to stock up. We ate all our waffles this morning. We'll get another two packs. <laughs> and yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. I don't know what I'm setting up for school. It might be a workbook day just to finish out the week and get out of the house whenever we can. So I'll see you tomorrow for that. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands. <laughs>